talking to everyone else in the room. My Bible says if you want to pray, go into your closet, shut the door. What you pray in secret, be rewarded openly. But most people, they like to go to prayer meeting to be seen. Jesus said no. It's amazing how no one ever listens to Jesus. They have their ritual, their custom, and they want to be prayer warriors. Better known as God botherers. God deliver us from the idiots. Got to change your mind. Believe what Jesus said. You know, he went up in the mountain alone to pray and commune with Father. Sent the disciples off. In fact, the disciples were so mystified about prayer, he said, Lord, Lord, can you teach us to pray? We just don't know how to do it. And it was a real short prayer he taught them. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. And you know, the whole of the Lord's Prayer, very short. Short, sharp, and quick. It's amazing how people love, think all night in prayer. Go to bed. You know, when do you expect God to take a rest? For goodness sake, grow up. You know, it is just, but it, it is kind of a, a Christian uh, thing. Now, I believe in praying always in the sense of prayer is an attitude of relationship with God my Father. I'm in communion with my father because I'm a son. But it's nothing to do with, oh, let us all pray. Bow your heads. Almighty God in heaven. And then you, you know, you kind of, you've got to get him distant. So you can pray loud and long. And then you start quoting scripture to him. Uh, as if he didn't know it. That's not prayer. That's performance. It's ritual. It's religion. Is that plain? Yes. Okay. If you don't like it, lump it. <laughs> they were created by him, verse 16 and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Now, may I say this, that the devil is a fallen angel only. He's not omnipresent. He is one angel fallen. He is actually reserved in chains with a third of the host of heaven that fell, you'll find. It tells you in scripture. And, you know, I find people want to say, the devil said this, the devil said that. No, he didn't. Go and see a psychiatrist. You're hearing voices. Grow up. You say, well, the devil came to Je Yeah, that was pre-Calvary. Demons everywhere. Demon here, a demon there. Grow up. Jesus Christ overcame all the power of the enemy. We're coming on to it in the second chapter. I, I love Colossians. Paul was facing this, everyone, they had these spirits, you know, they, 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 had, they had hierarchical kind of angelic forces, they had the names of them, and you know, they believed, the Gnostics believed that if you found out the name of the spirit, it lost its power. And then once you got its name, it couldn't do anything. And so they were always looking for a name they could get the name of the spirit then they really would triumph he is the head of the body the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead that in all things Jesus might have the preeminence for it pleased the father that in him should all fullness dwell look Jesus never lacked anything father allowed all fullness to dwell in him. And it goes on, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him 
to reconcile all things unto himself by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven now look reconciliation comes not only for earthly things but for heavenly things and my God when he, the blood was shed it brought reconciliation and it goes on in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight if you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel now what is the hope of the gospel the hope of the gospel is the truth that when Jesus died 2,000 years ago he took your sin and my sin into his own body on the tree he became sin who knew no sin on the third day he rose from the dead his shed blood cleanses me from all sin I'm forgiven I'm reconciled to God not by what I do but by what he did for me on Calvary all right goes on and makes it quite plain if you continue in the faith and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven whereof I Paul am made a minister who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake you know it's Christ in my what flesh I'm amazed how many people want to keep Christ in the spirit <laughs> you know incarnation came when God came within man God became man. but you see it was in his flesh Christ suffered in the flesh flesh paid the price it wasn't spirit paid the price it makes it clear look verse 22 in the body of his flesh through death you know God is dealing with flesh the price was paid in his body the flesh and yet I find everyone's got spirit 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 and the idea of God living in my mortal flesh is obnoxious to some people They're, oh no 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 you see my spirits becomes one spirit with God's spirit what does that mean no my Bible says we have this treasure in our earthen vessel what's your earthen vessel huh your flesh that the excellency of the power might be of God and not